Good morning, everybody. There's little Miss Olive in the beautiful green carpet of grass. And there's a prairie dog. There he is. <laughs> Cute. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> Before you say anything, I know that prairie dogs can have the bubonic plague. Oh, there's a lot of them. They're all down the way, running around. <laughs> so, we are at a place called Little America. It's in Wyoming. Uh, there's Little America truck stops, I think, all over the country, or at least all over the Midwest. I mean, West. Oh. <laughs> We're right off the interstate, which is 80. Yeah, I think it's 80. This is a nice place to stay. Oops, sorry. You can stay all over their large parking lot, complete with prairie dogs and all. Uh, but look, they have giant, beautifully manicured green fields, grassy fields, and there's the sign. I did a little video about this place a couple of years ago when I was here with the group and uh, the whole thing was uh, this place has been here since I think the, the 40s and it's a place that my grandmother has talked about a couple of times a place she has good memories of it's a place where when uh, my father was a small kid uh, well yeah a small child uh, they stayed my uh, grandma, grandpa, uncle, and father stayed here. And, uh, yeah, it's like a little town here. It's not just a regular truck stop. It's a, they have a post office and uh, a whole little town, a park, a dog park, I think. And, uh, yeah, it's a really cool place. But it is also a truck stop. Um, but it's actually pretty quiet. And especially considering we're right off the interstate, it's pretty quiet here, so nice, very nice place to stop for the night. And they have 75 cent ice cream cones. Uh, the only problem with all this green stuff, which I do love the green stuff, <laughs> grass especially, but trees for sure, is uh, allergies. I woke up and my allergies are just killing me. So probably tree pollen, because that's one of my biggest allergens. Um, yeah, so we're going to get back out on the road. Uh, all our friends, well, they were just parked right here a few minutes ago. They uh, left. They are on our, their way to our next spot, which is a, um, another water beach location, which is exciting. And uh, they wanted to try to get there early. I'm just not somebody who functions really early anymore. I need to drink water and stretch and then have my coffee and feed olive and walk olive and all these things and i don't like to get out of bed before you know seven well let's be real eight or nine o'clock and uh yeah there's a mountain range over there it's all covered in snow and over there would be salt lake city so that's the mountain range where um, i think like park city would be the, the ski area yeah, so, okay, we're, I'm going to put it into high gear and we're going to get on the road. Olive is waiting. She said everyone left without us. Say good morning. She says, no, I'm smelling. Good morning. So we're in the middle of nowhere and there's a lot of construction, like multiple 
multiple spots of construction here and uh, I suppose roads out in the middle of nowhere have to get repaved eventually. <laughs> Uh, oh, Olive. <laughs> what are you barking at? The construction guy? <laughs> you goofball. He's doing his job. Shush. <laughs> so ferocious. Oh. I'm not sure why this just happened, but this uh, tiny little airstream just cut in front of us. <laughs> um, but look at how cool it is. Being an airstream, I'm sure it's like, you know, $60,000 for a tiny little camper, but that's pretty cool. It's very like space age. Actually, kind of, <laughs> it reminds me kind of a submarine or something, I don't know. So yeah, there's, there's not much here in Wyoming. These yellow flowers are gorgeous, though. They really kind of brighten up the landscape. But the landscape in Wyoming, I've been all over Wyoming. Some of it, some of it's different, you know? It changes somewhat as you go, but it's kind of a lot of nothing. Definitely very few people. It's the least populated state. No. It's the least density as far as the population goes. Even compared to Alaska, which is crazy. <laughs> yeah, there's... But if you're driving through Wyoming, you need to get gas at every single gas station you see. Uh, because there might not be another one for, you know, 300 miles. And, yeah, a lot of it, you don't even see a house. Often you won't see a car, even on the other side of the road, for a long, long time. But... Yeah, and it's, I mean, it is pretty though, I guess. There's very few trees. I guess it's still high desert. Yeah, <laughs> that's Wyoming, from what I know of it. And uh, we're about to cross back into Utah. We only, uh, we're in Wyoming for a little while. Just kind of the corner of it. And uh, we're headed to a spot where, fingers crossed, we're gonna have a campsite a couple of campsites because our group has gotten larger uh, it's a it's pay camping paid camping which is something we almost never do very rarely but it's such a beautiful place and uh, Terry especially Terry and I are big fans of it because the water would just blow you away it's a uh, it's a lake that's full of calcium carbonate mineral and it reflects the sun and so it's just gorgeous we're in utah oh the speed limit went down i have to slow down we're almost there i think we're only 15 miles away maybe now which makes olive happy because she's very tired of being in the van <laughs> she's doing a lot of yawning and looking up at me so it's, uh, it's just past these mountains in front of us. It's the Mediterranean of America, or they call it something like that, because it's so incredibly blue. There's your first peak. Look at how blue that is. Absolutely stunning. That is Bear Lake.
So we found a pretty good campsite. The last one was pretty horrible, but people, most people seemed okay with that, but I was not. I'm not going to pay for camping where there's tons of garbage and uh, lots of rocks, like big rocks. There are some here as well, but that one was just all rocks. Yeah, here comes everybody. Here